Okay, amorphous cloud. Um, and it could be a lot of different things. It could be a horse, it could be a dragon, it could be a pair of shoes, and maybe we just need to decide what it is, you know, so we can move forward and innovate within that, within those boundaries, within that parameter. Um, and I am struggling a lot, and I think maybe this is true in a lot of, for a lot of educators, but struggling a lot with what is the, what is the right amount of structure, scaffolding to create um, innovation and you know that educative experience but without um, you know losing cohesion and letting things run wild and so um, yeah I guess it's like level of inquiry and um, and how to provide the right kind of structure for that and so I chose this image which I think is some kind of weird seed pod in California is an alien environment to me and I feel like my kids who I brought with me are like, it's alien, they're like little alien pods and the, the humans have these little dogs. Anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Um, and I thought this was a good representation of something that has, you know, clear structure, can hold the seed pods or the seeds. Um, and it's obviously like really sturdy, um, but it's, I mean, it's really innovative. And so for a, a tree or whatever the plant this came from, to have um, evolved this mechanism for dispersing its seeds um, is uh, pretty unique. And, um, and I think that's what I wanna try to provide for my students.